Welcome back to General Grammar, your one-stop shop for all your grammar needs. My name is Mr. Goody Grammar and I'm ready to take you on a little adventure today. I know exactly why you're in today. You heard we got a new shipment. Hmm, and I know it's gonna blow your mind. But before we begin, make sure to download the free guided notes in the description box below. The notes and the episode have matching badges that help you follow along with each section. Also, underline any maroon text that appears in the episode to identify key concepts and key terms. It's the shopping list your mom always forgot to take to the grocery store. Oh. Halt for a second. We can't add spice to our sentences without turning on the oven first. So, let's heat it up with a little basket breaker. Uh-oh. The question for this week's basket breaker is, how would you describe your most prized possession? Here's my answer. My most prized possession is my posture corrector. Why? Because I'm trying not to look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Hmm. Okay, with description in mind, I can't wait to tell you about our new shipment. Guess what? It's adverbs! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Let's do it. Three, two, one. Adverbs, just like adjectives, go ahead and describe different words. But what type of words do adverbs describe? Well, adverbs can describe adjectives, verbs, and another adverb. The amazing thing is there's actually different types of adverbs based off the circumstance and whatever's being modified. For example, there's adverbs of manner, adverbs of time, adverbs of place, and even adverbs of degree. Let's go ahead and review these types of adverbs. The first adverb that I want to talk about is adverb of manner. Basically, this refers to how an action is performed, how it's done. Example, Tiffany danced gracefully. Well, what's the verb in this sentence? Well, what is Tiffany doing? She's dancing. But how is she dancing? Well, she's dancing gracefully. Therefore, the adverb in this sentence is gracefully because it's describing how Tiffany dances. It's describing the verb. The next type of adverb is adverb of degree. And we actually use adverbs of degree all the time. This states the intensity or the degree to which specific things happen or the way they're done. Example. Example. That man is extremely attractive. We know that we're describing the man as attractive. He's good looking, right? But to what extent? That's why we go ahead and add the adverb extremely because it describes the extent or the degree in which the man is attractive. Next, adverb of time. This states basically when something happens or when it's done. Example, the mail came yesterday. When did the mail come? Well, it came yesterday. Therefore, yesterday is modifying came. It's telling when in time the mail came. Speaking of mail, uh, I've yet to actually receive my letter from Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hmm. Finally, let's talk about adverbs of place. Basically, an adverb of place tells where something happens or where something's done. Example, of course, I looked everywhere. The verb in the sentence is looked, but where are we looking? We're looking everywhere. Therefore, everywhere is actually modifying looked, making it an adverb. We need some employee assistance. All right, time to help you out a little bit more. For this section, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to read some sentences to you. What we're going to do together is we're going to go ahead and underline the adverbs in each sentence. That way we can get used to identifying them and how they're used in sentences. Example, my cat is constantly plotting my demise. If you notice in this example, constantly is actually describing the verb plotting because my cat is constantly plotting my demise. And you'll actually notice with a lot of adverbs, they usually end with L-Y. Example, the seemingly bashful llama spat on my fraternity brother's face. Good times. If you notice here, our adjectives to describe the llama is bashful. But let's say we want to add a little bit more description to bashful. Well, that's why we add in seemingly bashful llama. Seemingly is actually our adverb here because it describes bashful. Don't you dare do it! Example, his alligator is very calm sweet creature. If you notice here, we have an adjective describing his alligator. It's calm. But let's say we want to add that specificity of the degree to which the alligator is calm. Well, we can add the adverb very. Very shows the degree to which the alligator is calm, therefore modifying the adjective. Our adverbs fun? For this episode's I'll check, I'm going to go ahead and read you a sentence. It's your duty to go ahead and identify the adverb or adverbs in the sentence. What you're going to do is, once you identify them, go ahead and underline them wherever they're at in the sentence. Remember, adverbs describe adjectives, verbs, and other adverbs. So, pull out your magnifying glass and get ready to search for some adverbs, Sherlock Holmes. Are you ready? Let's go! Question. Pennywise, the dancing clown, viciously stalks his very innocent victims. <laughs> Time to check out. How'd you do? Let's go ahead and go over it together. Again. The sentence was, Pennywise the dancing clown viciously stalks his very innocent victims. If you notice, we have viciously right before stalks, stalks being our verb. Viciously goes ahead and modifies stalks, showing the manner in which Pennywise stalks. Pennywise stalks viciously. The second one in here is very. And very actually is attached to innocent, which was the adjectives describing the victims. So again, we're seeing an adverb of degree, very innocent victims. Well, cool thing, if you did answer the question correctly, awesome job. What I want you to go ahead and do now is Write some original sentences using adverbs and go ahead and pop those bad boys into the comments below. We're excited to read them. And we'll even give you a shout out on a future episode if you're making us laugh. If you struggled with this concept, don't even worry about it. Keep in mind that learning new concepts takes time and practice. If you have any questions, go ahead and pop them into the comments below. We'll be happy to help you out. Oh, goody grammars, thank you so much for stopping by General Grammar. Drop in again because next time we're going to be talking about prep. Prepositions, that is, people. I'm Goody Grammar. Thank you so much for making us your anti-jammer grammar. We'll see you next time.